Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Big Rich here again, out here in Northern California, Silicon Valley, not too far from where they filmed Bigfoot. I'm here to talk about uh, my custom Savage XS Flux that I'm building. Just received the roller in the mail. I'm getting ready to assemble it uh, right now. So this is uh, part two of this video series. And so in the box came an uh, instruction manual, of course the roller, and uh, we got a transmission right here, and a couple more bags in here, let's see what's here. It looks like these are parts for holding the ESC and uh, waterproof receiver box and uh, this is the other side it's kind of like the battery tray but it actually just covers up the motor and servo and uh, here we've got the bag of spare parts and the wrench that comes with the kit when you buy it new also have those pl plastic hexes in there and so let's get started putting this thing together uh, so start off with the easy stuff, just uh, put the batteries in the radio. I'm eager to see what this thing looks like. Looking good. And uh, just some of the receiver and here's the wheelie bar, the servo. Not really sure where to start, so just start attacking it wherever I can. So let me get this uh, Kenyon put on so I can put the motor in the transmission housing. The mesh is looking really good. That's 34 tooth pinion. It's capable of doing 65 miles an hour. Got the four pole motor by Castle. 3800 kV. Get this transmission reassembled. And I'm going to take these shocks off to replace them with the Proline. Install this sway bar kit while it's nice and easy. So this comes with enough for the front and rear. You've got the screws and the, the pieces that hold the sway bar and the sway bar arm. And of course a couple sway bars for the front and rear. So I've got to assemble all these little pieces. Once I get all four of these together, then I can start putting them onto the to the arms, to the lower arms of the truck. That's what they look like when they're all put together at a slight angle, just like the manual shows. And that's all four of them, plus the grub screws and the pieces that go into the bulkhead. And so they, they go in right there on the inside part of the of the arm there, on the lower arm. And you just get that screw in part way, put the sway bar arm in and tighten it up. There's one on this side and I got one over here on the other side too. Now that these are installed, I can go ahead and put the sway bar in between them. Looks just like that. So there's a grub screw that holds it in tight on both of those sway bar arms. Let's see if I can get you a shot of that grub screw. There you go. That's it right there. And you can see how the sway bar comes around the bulkhead and goes into the sway bar arm. And there's the other side there. Now I've got the piece that goes into the bulkhead right here. It's got two grub screws in it too freeze the video so you can see up there at the top. And so there I installed it. It's hard to get a good shot of it. Now I'm going to continue to install the sway bar kit on the rear and get those Proline shocks mounted up. Uh, RC Nightmare has a nice video on how to install those Proline shocks onto the Savage XS flux. So I won't show you too much about that. So I'll make another video after I get the electronics dialed in and I'll Break in the diff, take it for the first run. This is Big Rich in Northern California. See ya, YouTube.